great product here. I kind of call it a Defactor Plus or maybe a Defactor on steroids. Not because it's overly aggressive or anything along those lines, but rather because it's so versatile. This isn't really just a Defactor in itself, okay? We're gonna get into that right now, what all it can do, but it's an incredible price point. Check it out on my website, goodworkstractors.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. A lot of great products like this for tractor owners. Watch the other videos on the channel too, and always make sure you read through that description right under the video. That's where you're gonna find a link to buy this cool product right here, along with a lot of other really cool products for tractor owners. So first, what can you do with this product? What is this thing right here? Well, you know, I'm telling you, it's a mighty little mini attachment here that you're gonna to wanna to leave handy and ready to put on all throughout the course of the year. This thing is great not only for dethatching, okay? If you have a real extra thick layer of thatch that's on there, it's good to have some thatch. But if you have too much, you gotta break that up, otherwise you're just blocking nutrients and water and everything else from getting to the ground. So this is great for that without being overly aggressive. One of the problems with something like a landscape rake or even a pine straw rake is that they are just very aggressive on a lawn and one pass with it is really too much, too damaging for a lot of lawns that are out there. But some other great uses for an attachment like this are gonna be for grooming. Whether you're talking about grooming trails, maybe you have hunting trails in the fall or nature trails, whatever it might be, you wanna just get the debris out of the way. Very cheap and expensive way to slap it on the back of your tractor and away you go. Same thing with grooming horse arenas or even grooming stone driveways. Now additionally, this can really help with spring or fall cleanup. You know, if you can't quite afford a bagger, this is a cheap way to get into a, a monster size rake right here. Just put it behind your tractor, go around when those leaves really fall down and you can pile these things all up. And the good thing with this, you know, not just the leaves, but the sticks and everything that fall down after a storm, maybe you just cut down a tree and you got just your leftovers there. You know that you wanna, you're gonna have to rake up by hand. We'll throw these on the back of your tractor and just rake it all into a pile. The great thing about this is you can pull with it, but you can also push, okay? So this works going either direction, really opens up that versatility. Even if you wanna smooth out baseball diamonds or dirt parking lots that you might have at your ball fields or wherever else it is, another great and expensive tool here, not gonna do a super deep grade or leveling out of any kind of surface. That's not the intent, that's not the purpose, right? It's made to do just that little fine tune, that final pass, be okay to use on turf like this, you know, and not really dig in. You're not gonna shape or contour ground with this. That's not what it's intended to do. It's just intended to make contact with the ground and kind of give and take as it goes over the surface of the ground as well. And also if you need it to, collect things like sticks and leaves if you wanna rake those up into a pile and get them out of here or shove them into the woods. So with a dethatcher like this, these are very, you know, very light spring loaded pins here, okay? There's no down pressure with your three point hitch. It's just gonna be the weight of the attachment itself. You know, I have a quick hitch on here and then the three point, just that physical weight that's letting it ride on the ground and kind of press into the ground a little bit. So I got a little excited yesterday morning and uh, already did a little bit of, of trial run around my yard here. And I can tell you one pass is gonna, it, well, I don't have a lot of thatch right now to be honest, but one pass is gonna be a decent amount. If you wanna do a heavy duty thatch, kinda of do two passes. I'd suggest probably a crisscross. You could get carried away and do three if you wanted to. I mean, all you're doing is driving your tractor around, so what's wrong with that, right? But anyway, dethatching is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Another great purpose, what I'm actually using it for here is to scarify the lawn. Basically rough up the surface of the lawn. We all want that good seed to soil contact when you're gonna be seeding your lawn. It's fall right now here in Michigan. I'm gonna be laying down a bunch of seed here, Ryan, um, uh, bluegrass as well, a good mixture there, and I need to have that good seed to soil contact. So the main purpose today of this attachment right here is gonna be scarifying, not the thatching. Okay, so what you see here is clearly category one compatible, all right, but what you don't see, maybe you do and you just don't realize it, it's quick hitch compatible here as well, all right? So it fits in, this is a Spico quick hitch, this is the one that I sell. You might be able to see the main benefit here, there's no bushings that are required over here saves you all sorts of money especially if you have a lot of three-point attachments so i'd encourage you to check out the spico quick hitch again in those links below so available sizes are going to be 50 60 and 70 inches all right with 60 being the most popular by far the manufacturer's been producing these for quite some time and they say they probably sell 80 or 90 percent are 60 inch okay so 50 inch is going to be about the width of a one or a two series right in that ballpark there you know 60 inch going to be i don't know five six inches wider you know on either side and then 70 inch obviously significantly wider than that so two issues with the 70 inch one is going to actually weigh significantly more there's a lot more steel because it does really get to to be quite wide and so they have a lot more steel and so you know your, your poundage per inch or foot whatever you want to break it up to incrementally there is going to be heavier and the intent for this attachment again is not to be heavy it's to make contact with the ground but not not dig in secondly they've had a lot more claims on the 70 inch i'll tell you why 
The reason being is that, believe it or not, you know, these are being used in yards for the most part, right? So they get used in other applications, but yards are very popular, a very common location. And 70 inches sticks out quite a bit further uh, than what you're used to, you know, when you're driving one of these smaller tractors. So what happens? Well, you're going between trees or something else or around a fence or bushes, landscaping, that kind of thing. And boom, you whack it, okay? And you, you ruin one of these ends here, you tweak it, something happens. So they get a lot more requests for replacement parts on the 70 inch variants because of that issue right there. Now kind of tied into the parts that you might have to get. These tines right here are replaceable, okay? They shift around just a little bit, but not too much. But if you ever break one of these or bend one beyond repair, don't worry, you can go ahead and get it replaced. And while you're taking a little bit closer up look of this frame here, you can see everything is powder coated as well. Well guys, really, so that's the dethatcher in a nutshell there, all right? I'm telling you, pricing is significantly less than a landscape rake or a pine straw rake. You know, the thing is, is that this opens up the versatility to a lot of other applications as well. So definitely worth taking a good look at. I can ship these all over the country. So feel free to email me or take a look on the website uh, where you, you can purchase it and get more information on this detacher right here. And if you're looking at more than one attachment, oftentimes we're able to bundle everything together to get you a little bit more efficient shipping quote as well. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Make sure you check out the other videos on the channel and read through that description below for a lot of those helpful links. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.